All right, we have created our test bank and saved it. Now we want to get that test bank into Canvas. So you just go to Canvas. And I'm going to do this with my iPass class because that's not a class that's being used at all, and I don't really want to import um, fake test banks to anything right now. So we're just going to kind of use this as a dummy class. So what you want to do is, well, actually I'll back up a spot. You would go to Dashboard to where all your classes are. Choose which class you want to import it into. And as I said, I'm just doing it into an iPass class where nobody will see it. Go to Settings. Once you get to Settings, you are going to want to Import Course Content. You can see I've kind of messed around with this course a little. I use this as my little test block. You go up to Import Content, and you're going to go down to the very bottom where it says QTI zip file, because that's what we just saved it as. You are going to choose your file, and I called this Demonstration. Click, click on that file, click open. You'll want to create a new test bank and give it a name. I'm not sure exactly why it needs a name because you're going to have to type in the name again. And then you are just going to hit import. And depending on how long your... Um, test bank is. It depends on how long it's going to take to upload it. You can see we're about 50% done right now. If you need to, fast forward. I'll sit here, twiddle my thumbs. doing screencast but I don't think there's a way to really pause it right now one nice thing is while this is being uploaded you can run other things in the background Usually I try and upload a few at the same time, and then I do something else, and then I go back to this maybe 15, 20 minutes later. And you see, you can set, see it's almost done right now. Okay, it is now complete. So that has been uploaded. One thing that I do want to do, though, before I create my quiz, is I want to go to Quizzes, and I want to make sure that I name this. So click on Quizzes, and that is what I just uploaded. It's an unnamed quiz. If you want to use that as your quiz, you could go ahead and just give it a name. But what I usually do is I go to Manage Question Bank. And I can always look at the date to see what was just downloaded most recently. And so this was done at May 29th at 11.10. And then I'm just going to give a name on that one. Demonstration. All right. So there I have my question bank. Our next thing will be to actually create a quiz.